question number 36. The question says a wire of length 1 meter, area of cross section 2 millimeter square is hanging from a ceiling of lift. The length of wire changes to 1.1 meters when the mass 2 kg is suspended from its free end and the lift is accelerated upwards with acceleration 2 meters per second square. The value of Young's modulus is g is given to be equal to 10 meters per second square and the four options are 4.2 into 10 to the power 4 newton per meter square, 6 into 10 to the power 4 newton per meter square, 1.2 into 10 to the power 8 newton per meter square or fourth option which says 8 into 10 raised to power 3 newton per meter square. Now let us proceed to the solution. The students, in this question, there is a mass m which is suspended from a string. The mass m herein has a value of 2 kg. The whole lift is accelerating upwards with an acceleration a. And in this case, the tension in the string can be written to be equal to m into g plus a. Now, the Young's modulus is equal to the stress developed divided by the strain. And this will be equal to the force that is tension by area divided by the strain. Now, the strain can be written as the change in length by original length, where L1 is the final length. We can substitute the values this will be equal to m into g plus a into l divided by area into l1 minus l. Furthermore, this will be equal to 2 into 10 plus 2 as the acceleration is 2 meters per second square into length that is 1 divided by the area that is 2 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter square. Please note that in the question it is given in millimeter square. Now, in the denominator it will be a multiplication of 0 0.1 as well as L1 is 1.1 and L is 1. On solving this, we get a value of 1.2 into 10 raised to power 8 Newton per meter square. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option C. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This question is question 37. In this question, a short electric dipole has a dipole moment of 16 into 10 raised to power minus 9 coulomb meters. The electric potential due to the dipole at a point at a distance of 0.6 meter from the center of the dipole situated on the equatorial line. Now, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is given to be equal to 9 into 10 raised to power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square. And the four options are 200 volt, 400 volt, 0 and 50 volt. Now, the students, for an electric dipole, the situation is somewhat like this. There is a negative charge and there is a positive charge and these two charges are separated by a certain distance. We have to find out the potential on the equatorial line. Let this be the point P on the equatorial line where we have to find out the potential. Now, since the distance of this point from both the charges is same, let the negative charge be minus Q and the positive charge be plus Q. The net potential can be written as K of minus Q by R due to the negative charge plus k q by r due to the positive charge and this will be equal to 0. In any case, the potential on the equatorial line due to an electric dipole is always 0 and hence for this question, the correct answer is option C. Now, let us move to the next question. This is question 38. The question says two tuning forks A and B made of same material are slightly out of tune and produce beats of frequency 7 hertz. When B is slightly filed, the beat frequency increases to 9 Hz. If the frequency of A is 274 Hz, then the original frequency of B was. There are four options, 524 Hz, 268 Hz, 281 Hz or 312 Hz. Dear students, in this case, the initial beat frequency is given as 7 Hz. Let this be delta N. Initially, the frequency of A tuning fork is given as 274 Hz. So, the possible values of the frequency of B can be either 274 minus 7 or 274 plus 7. This means it can be either 267 hertz or it can be equal to 281 hertz. That is, it can be either greater than Na or it could be less than Na. Now, it is given that when B is filed, the beat frequency increases. Please note that on filing, the frequency of B will increase 
and therefore the only possible value is 281 hertz because if the frequency of B increases in this case, the B frequency that is the separation between the frequency of B and A will further increase thus increasing the B frequency from 7 to 9 and hence for this question the correct answer is option C. Now let us proceed to the next question. This is question 39. The question says an electron is accelerated from rest through a potential difference of 12.27 volt. The de Broglie wavelength of the electron is and the four options are 19.1 angstrom, 12 angstrom, 4.81 angstrom or fourth option which is 3.5 angstrom. Now let us proceed to the solution. Dear student, the de Broglie wavelength can be written as H divided by 2MeV where E is the electronic charge, V is the potential through which the electron is accelerated, M is the mass of the electron and H is the Planck's constant. We can substitute these values and we can write down that lambda will be equal to 12.27 divided by root V where V is in volt and the lambda is in angstroms. We can use this formula straight away and therefore we must remember this formula to solve the questions in a quicker manner. If we substitute the values this will be 12.27 divided by root of 12.27 and this will give us a value of 3.5 angstrom and hence for this question the correct answer is option D. Now let us move to the next question. This is question 40. The question says consider the following two statements. The first statement is resistance of a semiconductor decreases with increase in temperature while the next statement says resistance of a conductor decreases with increase in temperature. We have to find out the correct statement and the four options are only A, only B, both A and B or neither A nor B. Now dear students, the resistance for semiconductor decreases with the increase in temperature which means if the temperature increases the resistance decreases this is a factual statement while for the conductors as the temperature increases the resistance increases as well and that is why the superconductors are created at very very low temperatures therefore dear students for this question the only correct option is the first statement and hence the correct option is option A. Now let us move to the next question.